Good morning, it's that girl Shay. I just came on to encourage somebody um, because my heart, <laughs> there was a burden on my heart for you. Um, the burden of God concerning you because God, he wants you to know that he loves you. You know, sometimes in life, we're thrown a bad hand. We're throwing a bad hand, you know. Sometimes we can't control the cards we're dealt. And sometimes in our brokenness, in our pain, in our hurt, in our anger, we can get mad at God. We can get mad at God for allowing certain things to happen. But I just want to let you know today that God loves you that although we can't control the bad hand, we can't control the rejection, we can't control the abuse, we can't control what happened. We serve a loving, merciful God who has the power to heal. He has the power to take the pain from the wound. And I want to let you know that God loves you and He's concerned. And he wants He wants you to know that He will heal you. That you're not the only one. And that everything that you've been through, God is going to bring you out and allow you to be a testimony to His grace, to His love, to His healing. Because there are many other people going through and who have been through that same thing right now. God wants you to allow forgiveness to come into your heart with his strength. Because he has a plan for you far beyond what happened. You know, that chapter was a rough chapter. But it's not the end of your story. Don't let it be the end of your story. Greater things are ahead. And I've been through pain. I've been through things. And I remember this quote that said, When you live in the past, your yesterday is every day. And that thing could have happened years ago. But it's still you're still living in it now. So you have to come to a place where you allow, you allow, and you give yourself permission to heal. Give yourself permission to overcome because you are an overcomer. And I'm sorry for what happened to you. I apologize. I'm sorry. My heart goes out to you. So let me pray for you and I'm going to get out of here. But I just came on to let you know that you are on God's mind today. And he put a burden on my heart to come share this message with you. To let you know that you are not forgotten by God. And, and it's not over. Your story is not over. So Lord, whoever this message is for, I ask that they will see this when they need to see it. I ask that you will lift the burden uh, from their heart, from their life that your healing would just penetrate their heart, their mind, their body, their soul, the affliction, the burden, the oppression. Lift it right now, God. Lift it, God. Give them hope for tomorrow. Give them hope to push forward, God, because you make all things new. You make every crooked place straight. Make every crooked place straight in their life. Make every crooked place straight in their thoughts how they give them a higher perspective, of God. Give them a higher perspective. Take them above the situation, God. The thing that once had them is now under their feet. I release you. I break you free. I, I break your mind free. I break your heart free from the prison of the pain. Go forward in grace. Go forward knowing that today is your day. Today is the day that everything turns around. Today is the day that... that you begin to, to live in the present and in the future, that your heart 
and your mind is focused on your future and, and the change, progress, restoration, healing. Because there's work for you to do. And you can't do it as long as you um, stay underneath everything that has happened. You are an overcomer. You can get through it. So um, be encouraged. Know that God loves you. And um, it's not over. Turn the page. Great things for you to do. People waiting on you. People who are going through what you've been through need you to get in position. God bless you. I love you.